Hello everyone and welcome to Coding Cart. So in this session we are going to solve one hackering problem from the topic strings in Python. So you can see here the problem name is find a string. So let me first explain you this problem in a simple way what they are saying. So in this problem we will be given two string. One will be the main string for example suppose a, b, c, d, c, d and c. And another will be the sub string. Sub string for example c, d, c. So what we have to do here is we have to find the total occurrences of the substring in this main string. So for example, if you see here the substring CDC, you can see here it has occurred here CDC and also here. So in the main string, this substring has occurred two times. So we have to print this two as our answer. So this is the problem here. We have to complete this function, this count substring. So they are passing the main string and the sub string. We just need to write our logic over here. So the approach is quite simple. What we have to do here is, let me take this as example. So the string was A, B, C, D, C, D and C. And the sub string was C, D, C. So what we will do here is, we will take out the length of this sub string which is here 3. Suppose this is our sub string. Now, now we will iterate in this main string till the length of the sub string which is 3. So here we will get the sub string as suppose x equal to abc correct. Now what we will do we will check whether this x equal to equal to our sub string or not. If it is equal then we will simply add to our counter otherwise we will move to take out the second substring of length 3 we will move one by one now here we got b c d so again we are checking whether this x the substring which we got up to length 3 from the second from the second position whether it is equal or not if it is not equal then we will again move further now we are here from here we are taking up to length 3 so here we got cdc cdc now here x is equal to the substring now here our counter will be added with 1 now we will again move forward from this position till length 3 so the substring which we got here is dcd now it will check again whether this x is equal to this substring or not it is not equal so again we will move further from this character so to length 3 we got c d c so here it is equal so it will again add one to our counter so we are done at last we will simply return return this c value so let us apply the same logic in our code so here we have to write our logic now they are passing the string and the substring so let us take one counter variable as 0 and the next task is we have to find the length of the substring so l equal to length of the substring now we got the length of the substring so after this we have to iterate in the main string from index 0 so for i in range to the length of the string correct now we have to pick the substring up to this length from 0 to we are starting from 0 0 to length of the substring 0 to length of the substring so we have to take the value from 0th index means from i till the length length of the substring correct so i plus l now after that let us save this in a variable suppose s so this will give us the substring up to length l so how it works is initially we are giving i equal to 0 here we have used formula like a string i is to i plus length of substring correct so initially my i is 
zero. So it will pick the value from zero till zero plus. Suppose length is three. Length is three. So it will pick the value from zero to three. Means this three is excluded. So from zero to two. So this is zero, one, and two. So it will pick the value ABC. Correct. Now next time we have to pick the value from here to here. That's why we have added i plus l. Next time this will be one. So one is to one plus three. So it will give one. One is to four. So. So this was my index zero, one, two, three, and four. But four is excluded, so it will take the value from one to three. So one, two, and three. So it will give the value B C D. Similarly, it will work for the next of the substring. So this will work. Now our next task was to compare if this S equal to equal to the substring. Substring. Now, if it is equal, then we have to just add one to our counter. Now we are done. Now we are done, and at last we have to return the counter as our answer. So this was the logic. Let us run and see. So you can see here it is working fine. So let us submit this code. so congratulations we are done with all the hidden test cases so this is one method now let me explain you with one another method which is called find method now suppose this is our given string now we have inbuilt one find method string dot find we have inbuilt method which is string dot find and here we have to pass the sub string sub string the starting index the start index and the end index means this is the range in which we want to find the substring now in this given string if you see here me have occurred here here as well as here means three times now let us find the substring me so x equal to suppose string s dot find find the given substring suppose me now i am not passing the start position and the end position so by default it will take zero and the end position is the last index so now let us print this one print the x value now when we are printing this x value so it will print the very first occurrences index so you can see here its index is 4 so let us execute this one and see so you can see here it printed the very first occurrences index here now if i am giving the value from the start position suppose 5 and end index suppose 30 30 must be here i think this will be covered here now let us execute this one and see so now you can see here it printed 23 means index for this me is 23 so it takes the value from left to right similarly we have one method r find we have one method r find this r find method takes the index from right to left for example suppose i am printing y equal to s dot r find r find suppose this substring as me so you can see here it will give the index for this me from the right to left so this so this will return the index for this me moving from right to left so let us execute and see this one print y so you can see here it printed 42 moving from right to left now if i am deleting this one and you can see here i am printing s dot find me so it will give the very first occurrences moving from left to right and this s dot r find it will also give the very first occurrences but moving from right to left so you can see here 
this will return 4 and it will return 42 so you can see here so we can use this method s dot find and pass the substring now suppose i am finding one substring which is not present over here which is not present in my main string so it will return minus 1 so let us check here suppose i am finding Neha, which is not present in my main string s so let us print this one so you can see here it printed minus 1 so we can use this method s dot find to solve this problem so let me explain you here how to utilize this one for example suppose this is my string so this is my string and my service string have occurred here in this range in this section and suppose in this section so this is my service string service string so suppose this is our string the main string so what we will do we will apply s dot find We'll apply this find method and pass this substring and the starting position the starting position the starting position now when we apply this s dot find on this string so it will return this index in the very first iteration so we will add one in our counter now no need to check in this section our required area for checking is this one we are done with this section this section is covered now in next time when we pass the value for position we will pass previous position plus one means we have to pass previous position plus one so that it will start from the next character so initially our positions would be minus one so that it will start from index one which is minus one plus one which will be zero for the very first for the very first iteration now in the next iteration we will get here this index as our answer again our count will be count will be 2 here now we are done with this section these sections are covered our target section is this one from here from second index from here means second index to last so here our position will be added with this index will be saved as our position and we will pass position plus one means we have to check from here in the next iteration now next time we will get this one here the count will be three now we are done here now we are done this length will be handled in our condition check so let us write the logic so let me comment this one and we write the fresh code let me zoom this one now again we, we are writing the phrase code let us take c equal to 0 and let us take the x value equal to minus 1 which will be the position value in our find function now now we will apply while loop while this x is less than length of our main string we will apply the logic over here we will find a string dot string dot find you have to pass our service string service string is in variable service string we have to pass the service string and the position initial position initial position is x now when we are passing this x this is minus one so it will take from right side value means this will be the last value so that's why we are adding plus one over here so it will become zero means in the very first iteration we are passing this service string and the value 0 over here so here minus 1 x is minus 1 we are adding here plus 1 so it will become 0 now it will return the index of the very first occurrences so let us save that in a variable suppose z z equal to string dot find sub string and the position now we will check we will check if z equal to equal to minus 1 means if that substring is not present then we have to break means no need to check further we will simply break otherwise we will simply add 1 to our counter c so equal to 1 now we are done in the very first iteration we got the index if it is present we are simply adding 1 now the next iteration we are passing the substring 
and we have to pass the position position will be z plus 1 so we are done so for the very first iteration we are passing substring and the position as 0 so if the string is present if that substring is present then the index will be saved in z now we are checking if z equal to equal to minus 1 if it is not present then we are breaking the loop otherwise we are adding 1 so for the very first iteration we are done so for example we are suppose this was our string and our substring was present over here at this index so for the next time in next iteration we have to start from here from this index so what we will do we will pass so this value was saved in z correct we are saving this value in z the return index is saved in z so so next time we have to search in this section this section so we have to give this position so this position is z plus 1 so we have to update our x value we have to update our x value this x value should be z plus 1 so let us assign x equal to z so it will go here z and z plus 1 so it will start from the next position so we are done here it will work and at last we will return at last we will return the counter value c so we are done with the code let us run this code so you can see here it is also working fine so let us submit this code so congratulations this code is also working so these were the two methods so if you like this video please do give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel coding card and stay tuned for the next videos thanks for watching